Hello, namaste dear yogis. Welcome to day seven of Melt Your Stress Away. Happy one week on your mat. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Let us know. Keep engaging in the conversation below and let us know how this journey is going for you so far. Your engagement inspires others to show up for themselves and take care of themselves. So please keep doing a great work, not only on your mat, but also encouraging others. Today, my friends, we have a fart, sweaty flow, kind of like wrap this week with a good vibe and good energy. When you're ready, hop on your mat and let's begin. We will begin today's practice in Baddha Konasana, sitting on our mat. Bring soles of your feet to touch, allow your knees to fall apart, and place your hands on top of your ankles. Lengthen out of your crown, sit nice and tall, relax your shoulders, take a deep breath in, and then open mouth, exhale, side out. Now look at me for a moment. Today's mantra is peace begins with me. We will add a little bit mudra here. So I want you to connect your index and your thumb when you say peace. Then your middle finger and your thumb when you say begins. Then your ring finger and your thumb with. And then your little finger with your thumb me. So peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. This is a beautiful, beautiful meditation that you basically can do any, anywhere. Whenever you feel a little bit anxious, a little bit angry, maybe you are standing in a line in a grocery store, especially right now in this time, and you feel a lot of stress around. So you can silently repeat this to yourself. Peace begins with me. So let's do this today on our mat and then you can take it with you off your mat to your daily practice. Close your eyes, sit nice and tall, your right palm facing upward. Take a breath in and out and let's begin with our mantra. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. You can breathing in and out through your nose. Peace begins with me. Now stay with your breath, find your very own peace, and just keep repeating this mantra silently to yourself. Peace begins with with me. We will take about five more breaths. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Beautiful. Ground your right hand on your ankle. Take a deep, long inhale in through your nose. Oh, 
open mouth let go of any stress or anxiety out of your body <sighs> beautiful bring your eyes to open from here find your peace fingers and go ahead and hook your big toes sit nice and tall suck your lower belly in and up inhale begin to extend your right leg any amount that is accessible to you make sure that you keeping your spine nice and long avoid rounding in your upper back okay so casting the heart forward rebend into the right leg and then engage your core extend through your left leg maybe you look something like that and that's okay okay as long as you have sensation you feel something you do the things right good rebend let's again extend the right leg maybe this time you can go a little bit deeper breathe in and out release extend your left leg breathe in and out release put it down again draw the navel in and up and then we will try to extend both legs coming into variation of both pose bringing our heart in between the legs balancing on our sitting bones big smile steady breath inhale exhale inhale exhale one more breath you got this breathing and out beautiful slowly rebend your knees cross your ankles bring the hands in front of you and then step to all fours tabletop position inhale cat pose a uh, cow pose sorry dip the belly down look up exhale push the earth away round your upper back cat inhale cow exhale cat inhale cow exhale cat now keep moving with your very own breath with your very own pace if you would like to add any other organic movement that feels good in your body right now do so remember it's your practice I'm guiding you but you are choosing what you want to explore on your mat and remember each day we feel completely different maybe some days we want to chill out and just take it slow and some days we want to push ourselves a little bit more so one more cycle inhale exhale beautiful come back to natural spine tuck your toes under let's find downward facing dog glide your sitting bones high and up feet hip distance apart arm shoulder distance apart and then begin to move invite movement bending one knee then the other knee inhale come high to your toes exhale pivot your feet to the right drop out of the heels down gaze underneath your left armpit take a breath in and out inhale high to your toes pivot your feet to the left drop the heels down gaze underneath your right armpit breathe in and out inhale high to your toes exhale ground your heels again inhale high to your toes this time ripple forward find a plank pose shoulders over hands round your upper back squeeze the arms towards each other take a breath in exhale lift the sitting bones make your way back into downward facing inhale high to your toes ripple forward find plank pose bring your feet to touch shift the weight to your right arm and then let's sweep the left arm up into vashistasana side plank lift your hips as high as you can reach up like you want to touch the sky breathe in plank pose as you breathe out take a breath in exhale downward facing dog inhale high to your toes ripple forward plank pose feet to touch shift the weight to your left arm inhale right arm comes up lift your hips high reach up a lot of energy through the right fingers feeling your oblique here on fire breathe 
full breath in exhale plank pose inhale exhale downward facing dog inhale come high to your toes exhale ripple forward plank now keep hinging forward lower halfway chaturanga upward facing inhale downward facing exhale inhale lift your right heel up high single leg down dog exhale knee to your right tricep bring the shoulders over hands around your upper back inhale sweep the right heel back behind you exhale knee to your forehead curl inhale sweep the heel up high exhale knee to your left tricep twist inhale reach the right heel up high exhale step the foot in between your hands low lunge drop your left knee down inhale anjaneyasana crescent lunge reach the arms up sing the hips forward giant breath in exhale half splits straighten the right leg flex your foot inhale rebend into the right knee exhale fold forward uttanasana both feet to touch ground your hands bend the knees if you need to inhale come up into mountain pose or dvahastasana exhale hands to heart inhale reach your arms up exhale let's cactus the arms shine the heart inhale reach your arms up exhale swan dive fold forward inhale fan halfway lengthen exhale step back high to low plank vinyasa inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog take a breath in and out inhale sweep your left heel up high single leg down dog exhale lift knee lift tricep inhale reach your left heel up high exhale knee to your forehead curl in try to touch your nose or forehead inhale reach your left heel up high single leg exhale knee to your right tricep twist inhale sweep the heel back behind you exhale low lunge let's bring that left foot in between the hands drop your right knee down inhale anjaneyasana reach the arms sink low puff up your heart exhale half splits fingers down to the mat flex your left foot lengthen through your spine inhale rebend exhale right foot to the front of your mat forward fold inhale come up mountain pose exhale hands to your heart inhale reach your arms up exhale cactus the arms lift your heart find a back bend inhale reach your arms exhale swan dive fold forward inhale halfway lengthen exhale let's find our vinyasa step or maybe take a half back landing chaturanga arms upward facing inhale downward facing exhale take a glorious in breath and let it out open mouth beautiful walk your hands towards your feet let's find a ragdoll position grab the opposite elbows and just sway side to side allow your head to hang heavy shifting weight from one foot to another a few pulses trying to touch the floor with our elbows very nice let go of your grip come high to your toes squat down and begin to bring your knees underneath your armpits into bakasana crow pose so we'll take a little play here about one minute of play crow pose and if you have a tripod headstand 
in your practice so we will try to transition from our bakasana into headstand if you have no idea what i'm talking about just stick with playing with the crow pose all right lift your sitting bones high and up high on your toes set the gaze forward ground your hands hinge forward the more you're gonna hinge then easier for you it's gonna be lifting your toes holding here our bakasana slowly opening the knees placing the crown of the head down to the earth squeeze the knees to your chest keep squeezing the elbows toward each other and then extend into headstand nice everything nice strong and engaged full breath in full breath out making our way to bakasana lower your knees to your triceps pushing the earth away trying to lift up very nice and slowly make your way back down to your toes ground your heels and then fold forward back into ragdoll position sway side to side put in and out let go of your grip and make your way back into downward facing dog let's take your one breath to recenter ourselves and repeat our mantra peace begins with me full breath in and out Inhale, sweep your right heel up high, single leg down dog. Exhale, knee to your right tricep. From here, swing it to the left tricep and back to right. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, single leg down dog. Right toes reaching up to the sky. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands low lunge beautiful sink into your lunge inhale pyramid pose straighten the right leg lift your toes and fold over the right leg exhale rebend sink into low lunge inhale pyramid pose exhale low lunge three more inhale Exhale, sink low. Feel the opening in your right hip flex, left hip flexor. Inhale, pyramid, square the hips. Exhale, sink. Last one. Inhale, pyramid. Exhale, sink. And we're gonna do one more pyramid pose and pause here. Just take a moment. Connect to your sensations. Breathing. Breathe out, rebend into the knee, and then from here, slowly, gracefully, you're gonna float your left heel up high, and then lift your chest, lift your arms, and take a flight into warrior three pose. Palms facing down, your left toes facing down. Trying to bring our heel in one line with the hip, and hips in one line with the crown of the head. Good, inhale. Exhale, begin to come up to standing as you're kicking your left heel to the glute. Now reach the left arm behind to grab the inner arch of your foot. Lift your right arm up into dancer's pose. Inhale, find length. Exhale, begin to kick, kick, kick that left heel skyward as you lifting through your heart. Take a breath in. Kick a little bit higher as you breathe out. One more breath. Nice, soften the right knee, draw the left knee into your chest. See if you can bring it without touching. And then figure four, place your left ankle on top of your right knee. Squat down, hands to your heart. Good. If you want to go deeper, you can bring your fingers down to the earth, sink low and feel that nice juicy stretch in the outer left hip breathe in and out everyone hands to your heart with your left peace finger grab your left big toe come up to standing 
knee to chest and from here begin to extend 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 any amount that you can find your drishti your focal point tighten your core and then slowly begin to open up that left leg to the side and open your right arm to the side so like your wings good breathe in and out let go of your left toes or knee and slowly float it back into warrior three with control inhale soften the right knee let's land into crescent lunge go deep exhale vinyasa high to low plank <sighs> inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog beautiful left side inhale left heel up high single leg down dog exhale knee to your left tricep swing the knee to the right and then to the left right and left for five four three two and one inhale sweep the left heel up high single leg down dog exhale step the foot in between your hands low lunge sink take a breath in and find a pyramid pose as you flexing the cliff toes towards you good exhale sink into your lunge go deep inhale pyramid pose three more exhale low lunge inhale pyramid pose exhale low lunge good job i think we have two more i lost my count good let's do one more beautiful and then we'll pause in pyramid pose ground your right heel down and just fold and find here a few seconds of complete stillness maybe repeat the mantra to yourself peace begins with me breathe in and out very nice slowly begin to hinge forward shifting all the way to your left foot as you're floating your right heel up high soften that left knee peel your chest peel your fingers and then open your arms open your wings finding warrior three pressing your left big toe firmly into the earth everything is engaged you are smiling and breathing inhale exhale kick the right heel to your bum come up to standing grab the inner arch of the foot inhale sweep your left arm up high exhale dancer pose kick 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 and kick keep your hips squared to the front of your mat chest lifted and you're only focusing on kicking that heel as high as you can breathing and out one more breath breathe in and out slowly let go draw that right knee to the chest try not to touch if possible exhale let's sink into figure four hands to heart drop the hips you want to go deeper fingers down to the mat try to sink a little bit lower Mm, that feels so good take a breath in and a breath out everyone hands to the heart let's prepare our right pace finger to grab the right big toe left hand on your left hip inhale draw the knee to chest stay here if that's enough or begin to kick 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 and extend through the leg as much as your body allows you keep pressing your left big toe firmly to the mat again find your drishti 
find your breath and slowly we'll begin to open up the right leg to the right and lift arm to the left yeah feeling the freedom in the pose full breath in full breath out letting go of your toes slowly float that leg all the way back behind you float the arms behind you making our way back into warrior three with airplane arms take a breath in soften the lift knee and let's land in crescent lunge as deep as you can exhale ground your hands take it through vinyasa high to low plank upward facing dog inhale downward facing dog exhale take your breath in and out come high to your toes dribble forward plank pose lower to your forearms forearm plank tuck your tailbone shoulders over elbows and just hold braid 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 feet to touch begin to shift the weight to the right and extend your left arm up forearm side plank very nice hold lift your hips a little bit higher breathe in and out let's switch side lift forearm down heels to the left extend your right arm up beautiful lift the hips higher hold and breathe back to forearm plank now walk your feet towards your face dolphin pose we're just gonna hang here in our dolphin pose close your eyes try to relax this is such a great pose to open up the shoulders if you really really want to go upside down and take a few hops into forearm stand just press the pause button and then play a little bit and come back to us when you're ready let's take two more breaths here one more breath bring the gaze forward press into the inner hands lift your elbows and find downward facing dog inhale lift the right heel up high exhale knee to your left right tricep and then move to the left and right five four three two one inhale single leg down dog exhale foot in between your hands ground your left heel down warrior one inhale rise up exhale sink low reach the arms back behind you interlock all ten fingers inhale puff up your heart squeeze the shoulder blades exhale humble warrior drop the right shoulder inside your right knee inhale come up warrior one virabhidrasana one exhale take it virabhidrasana two warrior two good inhale straighten the right leg reach the arms up exhale sink try to go a little bit deeper find more power in your arms inhale come up exhale sink inhale lift up exhale warrior two pause here flip your right palm to the sky inhale reverse slide your left fingers down the left leg push that right knee forward breathe into your side body inhale exhale half moon reach your right fingers forward find momentum to lift your left foot up stack the shoulders stack the hips breathe in exhale back to reverse warrior rebend into the right knee gracefully sink and take your side body stretch inhale half moon sprinkle the fingers down float your left foot up good now from here from this half moon we're gonna draw that left knee towards your left shoulder and then slowly 
pick up the right fingers of the floor and then make our way into tree pose. So your variation of tree, you're gonna kick extend your toes, foot to the inner calf or inner thigh, hands to heart, and try to slow down your breath. Very nice. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lift knee to chest. Inhale, float it back. Take it into warrior three. Exhale, land into high lunge. Take a breath in. And then vinyasa as you exhale. Upward facing, breathe in. Downward facing. Breathe out. Inhale, lift, heel up high. Sting the leg, down dog. Exhale, knee to your left tricep. Swing it to the right, back to left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale, sweep that left heel up high. Single leg, down dog. Exhale, step the foot in between your hands. Ground your right heel down, inhale, warrior one, lift up, exhale, sink. Reach the arms back behind you, and through like all ten fingers, inhale, lift your heart, exhale, humble warrior, drop your left shoulder inside your left knee. Very nice. Next inhale, lift you up, back into warrior one. Exhale, take it into warrior two. Very good. Inhale, straighten your left leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, sink back into warrior two, find more depth. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift up. Last one, exhale, warrior two, sink. Flip your left palm, inhale, reverse your warrior. Breathe in, breathe out. Now reach your left fingers forward, forward, all the way outside of your mat, floating into Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. Take a full cycle of breath here. Inhale. On the next inhale, we're gonna land back gracefully to reverse warrior. Inhale back into half moon pose. Find your stability here. Then bring the right knee to your right shoulder. Look down, peel up your left, fingers come up to standing and then slowly find your variation of tree pose for Iksasana. Hands to heart. Now let's slow down the breath. Breathe in and out. One more breath. Inhale, reach your arms up, right knee to chest, and as you exhale, we're gonna float back, warrior three. Beautiful. Soften your left knee, inhale, landing into Anjaneyasana, high lunge. And as you exhale, taking our Vinyasa high to low plank. <sighs> Upward facing dog, inhale. And then downward facing dog. Exhale, good job. Breathe in and out. Look up, step or hop your feet in between your hands and have a seat. Let's come back into our Navasana. So here's a few options. You just can go into traditional Navasana boat pose or grab your big toes and find the variation that we played at the beginning of the class. Now, if you're going into traditional Navasana, you're just gonna lengthen into low boat and lift up. If you chose 
this variation, we're gonna have a little bit more fun. Take a breath in. As you exhale, you're gonna roll onto your back and make your way into plow. Bring the toes over your head. Then roll back, balance on your sitting bones and come back to Navasana. Let's do this a few more times. Roll onto your back, bring the toes over your head and then roll back. Use your core to lift up. Okay, let's do three more times. Why not? Roll back, plow, and then roll down, Ooh, roll forward, come up, use your core, you got this. Two more, and then last one, beautiful, hold here. Lift through your heart, smile, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly make your way into Baddha Konasana. Soles of your feet to touch, and then fold forward and relax. Take a breath in, and out. Lift yourself up, extend the heels to the corners of your mat and slowly roll yourself all the way down into Shavasana. Palms facing upward, completely relax the entire body, softly breathing in and out through your nose and back to our mantra, connect your index finger with the thumb, peace. Middle finger with the thumb, begins. Ring finger with the thumb, with. And then little finger with the thumb, me. And just as you're relaxing here, keep repeating this mantra. Peace begins with me. Peace begins with me. Slowly begin to wake it up, bring awareness back to your body, energize your toes and fingers. Inhale, reach your arms overhead, full body stretch. Grab behind your knees, rock and roll back and forward, and come up into a comfortable seat. Sit nice and tall, plug the hands to your heart. Peace begins with me. Take this in and I'm inviting you to take this mantra with you off the mat into your life today. When life gives you a hundred reasons to break down and cry, show life that you have a million reasons to smile and love. Stay strong, my friends. Peace begins with you. Bring your thumbs to your third eye, center of your intuition. I bow to you. Namaste. Thank you so much for tuning in 
Thank you so much for breaking your sweat with me, sharing your beautiful energy. Again, remember to engage in the conversation below to encourage and motivate each other to show up for ourselves and with our good energy, create a better world. And remember, peace begins with you. From my heart to yours, you are awesome. Namaste.